It's better off this way You barely hear much anyway Besides, I learned to love the Sphinx Dance off in the kitchen Hello, welcome to the vlogs. So I'm actually in Hong Kong right now, but we are going to fast forward a couple days forward to today. And I'm actually gonna be going to Macau with Nick in about 30 minutes. So we had a little bit of change of plans with our itinerary. We were supposed to go to Beijing with my parents, but sadly my mom was not feeling too well. And so, you know, it, we all collectively decided that it was best for her to stay in Hong Kong. And of course me, Nick and my dad, we weren't gonna go to Beijing, just the three of us. So instead my dad's gonna stay here, hang with my mom and me and Nick are going to go to Macau for a little weekend trip and still make the most use out of our time here in Asia. I haven't been to Macau in quite a long time. I think maybe four years, but when I was living here in Hong Kong, I used to go to Macau all the time, probably every summer with my parents, just because it's so close to Hong Kong. It's like an hour ferry ride away, but I feel like there has been a lot of new developments and a lot more hotels since the last time I went. So I'm excited to just explore around. Nick has been years ago, like in 2013 when he came to Hong Kong for the first time, but we only went to Macau for a day. So it's gonna be his first time staying at Macau too. So I'm so excited to bring you all along with us for the weekend. So let's go head out and go to Macau. So we just made it to Macau and we just got to our hotel room. We got a crazy room upgrade and let me show you around. Mind you, the, the room we originally booked was just like a standard, like a standard room. And then we're checking in and then all of a sudden they're like, well, we're pleased to tell you that we've upgraded your room to the ambassador suite. <laughs> okay. I'm like, all right. So we get into the room and my jaw drops. Let me show you around. Okay, so this is from the start. Um, this is from the front of the door and you walk in into this little foyer area and you have these two sculptures right here. Very nice. And oh my God, I don't even know where to begin. Let's go this way. You come around and this is the living area. This is huge. This is, I, I can't even, like my jaw was on the floor. So you have like this study area here and then you have an eight seater dining table and look at what the hotel gave us. How cute is this? They gave us a little tea. And then right over here, you have the living room. This is massive. And mind you, it's only me and Nick. So this is like, we could literally each have our own couch. You come over out here and you have the view. So our view is also really pretty. I think at night it will be even more gorgeous because here, I think the hotel across from us is called the Parisienne, um, but you can see they have their little Eiffel Tower there. Okay, so here is another angle of the living space. Like this is massive. Again, I feel like I need to remind you all that we we booked, we literally booked the most standard room and somehow we got upgraded to this. Okay, so if you come over on this side of the suite is the little kitchenette. So you have your sink, waters, uh, a little Nespresso maker, and then microwave. And here is the fridge. And then you come back out here, down to the other end of the hall. Before you go into the master bedroom, there is a little guest bedroom, or sorry, there's a guest bathroom here. And then here, you can already see Nick. This is the master bedroom. Let me turn the light on. I think this entire room was like our first, no, it was our last New York apartment. So you can really tell Nick is using the foot massage, which the hotel also has. That's like a first for me. And then here is the vanity area. I'll probably be doing my makeup here. And then this is the closet. And then here is the bathroom. So you got a shower, a standing shower here. Toilet is in there. 
sinks are over here and then you have an amazing bathtub over here and then you go right back out to the bedroom and then all the way back out here in the living area and then back to where we started the front door so this is pretty wild um i have no idea what happened <laughs> i i think it's just our look but this is definitely a first in terms of having a really crazy jump in terms of room upgrade but not mad about it i am so excited also if we didn't mention we are staying here at the four seasons hotel in macau and it's also our two-year wedding anniversary tomorrow so it's gonna be a really fun weekend and we will be bringing you all along oh my god as if it doesn't get any better so they just brought up here let me just show you so they just brought up fresh fruit bottle of water and all of these macaroons. I think this was like their gift to wish us a happy anniversary for our wedding. This is just so, this is just next level. All right, we also haven't had lunch yet and it's almost three o'clock, so this should hold us over. Okay, so now I think we're gonna head out, grab a late lunch, and I'm just gonna take it easy because I think tomorrow we have quite a full day. So today we're just gonna go out, probably explore a little bit, walk around, grab a dinner, maybe have a drink tonight, maybe go to the casino tonight as well, but I will bring you all along with me. All right, this is the Wagyu Sando. I got the, sh I think, Shio ramen. What did you get, Nick? Is this show you. show you ramen? Okay, so we are right now walking along the strip. I think it's called Kotai Strip, but it's basically where all of like the big hotels here in Macau are, but they have some really cool new hotels that I haven't seen. Like this one right here, I think it's called a Londoner, but you can see they basically made the Big Ben all the way over there. And I think this exterior is supposed to look like Westminster Abbey. Of walking a lot today during the afternoon and our legs are so tired so for dinner we actually decided to order some in-room dining so for appetizer we got like a cheese kimchi and pork spring roll we have Nick's Wagyu beef burger and then I got a spaghetti bolognese and then for dessert a little Portuguese tart I think it's like a coconut tart Good morning. It is currently Saturday and it is me and Nick's two year wedding anniversary. We're here in Macau for the weekend and look at our view this morning. So at night it's so pretty because all the lights are turned on. But we are on our way now to go down to my favorite which is the breakfast buffet my absolute most favorite thing to do on a vacation. So let's go do that. This is my outfit of the day. So it's kind of, it's raining outside and it's a little humid though, but when you go inside, the AC is so cold. So I have my little cardigan on. This is from Zara. And then my tank is Reformation. I think I've worn it many times in the past. It's my favorite. And then my skirt is a Goldie. And then my shoes are my, my shoes. <laughs> 
are my Adidas Sambas. And then bag is Bottega. And then the belt is Amazon. I got some baked beans, sausages, fruits, hash brown, salami, and I got a omelet. They got a toast, omelet, hash brown. We have so much more to go. So it is after breakfast and we are currently walking through the Venetian, as you can see from the background, but we are going to Team Lab, which is a really cool art exhibition. They have it all over the world. I think it's like originally from Japan, if I remember, but we are on our way there. It's gonna be my first time visiting and I think it's gonna be such a cool experience. It's better off this way You barely hear much anyway Besides, I learned to love the Spanx Pants off in the kitchen Making a mess of things I can't, so I eat up everything You can't tell us what you don't see What you don't see, what you don't see drawing our little fishes right now and it's supposed to show up on the screen <laughs> of Macau where I think a lot of like the historical buildings are so you can see there's like a lot of like Portuguese influence and in, like the buildings here we're just gonna be spending the next few hours just exploring the side of the town and then later this afternoon we have a spa appointment back at our hotel so it's gonna be a very cute day It is our last day here in Macau and we are actually going to be checking out very soon. We do have a later ferry to take, so I think we're going to check out, leave our luggages at the hotel and then go outside and explore a little bit more, maybe have a late lunch and then make our way to the ferry to go back to Hong Kong. It still blows my mind, this suite that we got upgraded into. I mean, you can just see it from here, like it's, Massive. Not to mention, Four Seasons has treated us not even like amazingly well. Like they went above and beyond for our wedding anniversary. They just kept giving us surprises after surprises and it was just such incredible hospitality and so many personal touches and just lots of love. So just wanted to say shout out to Four Seasons Macau. 
You guys, the team was just beyond incredible. Don't know when is the next time I'm gonna stay in a apartment suite like this. So trying to say goodbye to it before we check out. All right, goodbye, sweet. So hopefully we'll see you again, we'll see. All right, here is my outfit of the day. Nick says I look like Beetlejuice. <laughs> But my bag is the one I've been carrying this whole time, Bottega. And then my blazer is Zara. My top, I think, is also Zara. My pants are from Naked. And then, again, my Sambas. So let's head out and say bye to Mikkel. Yeah.